good morning guys welcome back to sports Tuesday channel in today's video I have a question for y'all so I'm filming right now on my iPhone XS Max what I've been filming for for over a year now and here I have my GoPro which I'm also filming on um, and I have a question for y'all so I've been seeing about the new Hero 9 Black uh, GoPros and I've been thinking about getting one so right now I'm using my phone what I don't like about the phone is it doesn't have any stabilization so like going off this little step right here I'll show you all the phone versus the GoPro right now so that's phone and then right now I will switch to the GoPro question for y'all so I'm filming right now on my iPhone XS Max what I've been filming for for over a year now and here I have my GoPro which I'm also filming on um, and I have a question for y'all so I've been seeing about the new Hero 9 Black uh, GoPros and I've been thinking about getting one so right now I'm using my phone what I don't like about the phone is it doesn't have any stabilization so like going off this little step right here I'll show you all the phone versus the GoPro right now so that's phone and then right now I will switch to the GoPro alrighty guys so now we're on the GoPro uh, I'm gonna splice in that little clip there but we're in the 6.0 um, and I thought I would show y'all the um, sound quality on the GoPro. So I'm going to try to hold it where hopefully I'm not blocking any of the microphones. We're going to get a start up here on the 6.0. Y'all have heard this a thousand times on the phone. Windows are up, by the way. But... There's a the GoPro. Um, so, again, hopefully it's not messed up. <clears throat> GoPros are kind of weird because they kind of have uh, cameras all over, or not cameras, microphones all over the camera. So, they're a little weird. But I've been looking at the Hero 8, or the Hero 9, sorry. And, um, been thinking about getting one of them <clears throat> for a bunch of different reasons uh, it's supposed to have better stabilization um, supposed to have better picture the front facing screen that way you can see yourself if you're filming yourself and all that different kind of stuff um, a bunch of filming stuff that would be very nice to have longer battery life stuff like that so I'm going to swap to my phone right now. That way y'all can get a direct comparison between the two as far as sound quality and um, actual video quality. Right now I'm filming in 1080p, 60 frames per second in uh, the GoPro linear mode. So I'm going to swap to my phone right now and get y'all a better comparison. But you can see on the phone how it shows everything a lot better here um, and it's a lot more zoomed in that's kind of nice and it's kind of not but anyway i'm about to head to um Grace Ferry again seem to do that every monday um then when we get up there i'll do some other like direct comparisons and i'm going to post this video tomorrow on tuesday uh, I'm going to push back all the videos. I have a ton of videos coming up with the 300, with the shop, a bunch of stuff. Um, but I'm going to push all those videos back, get this video out for you guys, because I really want to know what is your opinion. Um, again, looking at the Hero 9 Black, I've mentioned that a couple times. Or I might just go back to using this GoPro. So, I have all my GoPro stuff here so I might set it up on the windshield and get some uh, different clips and stuff but we'll just have to see so 
Anyway, guys, I'm gonna get on the road, get headed up there, and uh, I'll get back to y'all when we get up there. All right, guys. So here's the next advantage to the GoPro. Um, thought I would mention this before we leave. So it's about 20 minutes later. I was hunting for this little, this little uh, adapter piece right here. Little quick slide thing. That wagon. Pull this down back here. Squeeze these and pull the camera out without taking the whole thing uh, off the windshield. But anyway, I have this set up here. That way we can see right out the front. Um, I'm probably gonna get some clips with this here in a moment before we get on the main road and I'll take it off. Um, it's not really in my line of view, but it would be nice to uh, have a full windshield also. So that's another advantage to the GoPro and but with this thing, sometimes it doesn't work uh, as well with the little case on it. You gotta talk louder. Um, but you can turn it off without messing with the GoPro. Um, and then also on the GoPro, where's the phone? You gotta go through a bunch of different settings. On the GoPro, you can hit the little button down here. So this will focus. I'm not going to. You can hit the little button down here and it'll immediately start recording. So that's also nice. Um, but I'm gonna head out. Uh, get some clips with the GoPro. Then when we get to Grish Ferry, we'll get some clips, some sound clips uh, by the water. Get some sound clips with the iPhone, which I'm filming on right now. We'll go from there. But what I'm trying to, I'm trying to get an idea of what you guys want me to do as far as camera. I'm trying to upgrade, give y'all some better quality. But I'm just trying to see if the GoPro will work. So. I guess I'll catch y'all here in a minute. Alrighty guys, so I got y'all set up here on the windshield. Uh, y'all probably just seen that on the iPhone clip. But, I'm gonna give y'all a little clip here going down the road. Um, so, again, y'all are set up on the windshield on a suction cup mount. So, I can do this hands free. Whereas, with the iPhone, I can't do this hands free. <laughs> so, use the head straight. 
try to film like sound quality. Yeah. Water just still as can be. <laughs> but anyway. Um y'all kinda seen the GoPro um a couple different times in the hopefully the difference in quality uh between this and the GoPro. Now you can see it kinda shaking a little bit. I don't know why, but my right hand has always been shaky ever since I broke my elbow when I was little. Um, so it is what it is. Um, but that is one thing that is nice about the GoPro there. Now, another thing that's nice, it's going down, you know, if you're filming or something, all you got to do to set this thing up on the windshield, if it's set up like this, just stick it, lock that down. There you go. It's a one hand deal. Take it off, pop that, pop that. There it is. So it's kind of nice. Um, and you have the little little deals. You can stick them, stick them on the dash. They have all different kinds of stuff. You can put them on your wrist, you can put them on your head, chest, all that kind of different stuff for, I guess, whatever you're doing. Um, and I actually bought this like accessory kit when I bought the GoPro. Uh, actually, when I started the channel, um, I used to film on this every day, but I didn't like the uh, editing for one because I edited on uh, computer. Our internet at the house sucks, so it was a always a delay. But here's a, a little accessory kit deal. Now this I use for cleaning the screen, but a little head strap. Here's one of the deals you can put on the bottom of the GoPro and uh, stick it to the dash or just whatever. I never wanted to stick anything to the dash, but you can. Um, I have one of the Joby little tripods, I guess you call it. Um, bag full of accessories, a bunch of different stuff. Stuff that I've added in here along the way. Uh, when I used to use it every day. So, anyway, just um, like I said, I'm gonna I'm gonna edit this video probably here in just a minute and um, get this video up tomorrow. So this is Monday. Um, video is going to go up Tuesday. So I'm going to push all my videos back and get this one uploaded. But I just thought I would show you all this. And also, I'll do a couple more shots, like out across here. And then I'll switch over to GoPro right now. Also, guys, one more thing real quick uh, before I edit this video i was editing the video and i thought about this um the battery on the gopro so i sit here i downloaded uh, all the pick or uh, all the files to the gopro app uh, the camera is very hot for one and two if we look on here 16 percent battery when we started it had about 70 I took a bunch of pictures over there and some other stuff, but still went from 70% to 16 um, with not a whole lot of usage. So I'm gonna go ahead, plug it up, let it charge. But um, I took some pictures of the truck uh, with the background here and I'll actually throw those in uh, here in just a moment. So, anyway, we'll get back to the video and finish it out. Alrighty guys, so now we are on the GoPro and it's still in the case. So you can see just how kind of smooth the transitions are with the GoPro and still pretty good quality. Um, 
So, pretty happy with the uh, quality on the GoPro. You know, it never was really a big issue. It was, for me, the biggest thing before was editing, for one. Because videos were always late and I hate being late on stuff. Um, low light, like the gauges. I'm looking on the screen here. And, uh... <laughs> the white gauges just barely show up. And they're very, you know, present. Um, just to the regular eye. And then with the iPhone, I mean, you can see here the difference. So... But, again, it is nice to have the ability to stick the GoPro to the window. Um, like for instance, let me roll this up. So, for instance, if I wanted to, I could take this uh, thing that I got y'all set up on right now. I can loosen it up, tilt it around, do all that stuff, and then I can take y'all. And just stick the GoPro right to the window, just like so. As you can see, hands free. Um, and I'll roll it upside down. But I can do that. Stick the GoPro to the window, um, the windshield. I don't know if it'll stick to the wood grain. Stick to the center console right there uh, it just makes it nice you know whereas the phone this I have to hold it and do all that stuff now the GoPro Hero 8 which has been a big topic of this video the Hero 8's have uh, a bunch of different features that this camera doesn't have uh, one being you can instead of doing this with this camera you can turn on a feature I don't remember what they called it I was looking at all this stuff at like one o'clock in the morning um, <laughs> couldn't go to sleep and you can tilt the camera however much you want to with that feature turned on and it always stays level so that's very nice it's almost like a gimbal type of effect um, so that would be kind of nice and then again the added stabilization and I don't know how it would do as far as like this low light stuff but y'all let me know uh, should we go back to the GoPro should we buy the Hero 9 I think I said Hero 8 a minute ago the Hero 9 uh, should we purchase one you know start using that let me know um, and I'll also take the GoPro out of this case here and um, show y'all the hopefully the sound quality out of the case now these cases are a bit difficult sometimes but there we are so this is the case that I just had y'all in on the suction cup mount so, I don't know if the um, sound quality is any different hopefully I don't have my finger on a microphone because um, from what I was told, GoPros have a bunch of different microphones kind of all over the camera. And that's, I think that's where I messed up. Beforehand, I have a finger over the microphone or something. But anyway, guys, I think I'm going to wrap up this video and get it edited. I have to do a bunch of stuff for Octane today. Um, been trying to get everything approved through the shark company uh, with sizing and the picture quality and all this other stuff it's been a just a whole deal uh, to be honest with you that's why it's taken so long but anyway I'll try to keep y'all updated on that I have a bunch of people that want to pre-order gonna do two designs and I will show you all the designs once they get here um, having a place in Conway do them so it's not too far away uh, where they're getting made at but anyway guys that's going to be a wrap for today's video so if you guys enjoyed today's video in there 
But if you guys enjoyed today's video, um, drop a like and comment down below. Let me know what you think as far as upgrading cameras. But anyways, guys, that's going to be a wrap for today. So thanks for watching. Hope everybody has a great day, and I'll catch y'all on the next one.